program contains graphic drug use. Viewer discretion is advised. The U.S. consumes 80% of the world's oxycodone. And as painkillers are pushed, a path is paved for the growing heroin market. The international drug trade is booming in the U.S. The problem for law enforcement at every level, cutting the supply when there's so much demand. Gavin Rehab. This is a heroin addict shooting up for the next high. Meanwhile, federal agents hunt down drug traffickers supplying the heroin. It's a continuous cycle for federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies. They say the flow of heroin into Pennsylvania starts in Mexico. Massive supplies are moved to New York City and Detroit. The highways are the arteries of the supply. David Hickton is the former United States attorney for the Western District of Pennsylvania. During his six years in office, he put away more than two dozen drug organizations, some connected to international cartels. He says the highway network makes it impossible to totally shut down the illegal transport of heroin. So you'd have to be prepared to stop all the traffic at the southern border, the northern border, and do truck interceptions and car interceptions along the highways. Most of the heroin on the East Coast now, like east of the Mississippi, the mm -hmm. Chicago area is coming from Mexico. Um, it's really, uh, uh, it's being trafficked by Mexican organizations. Pat Trainer is a special agent for the Drug Enforcement Administration. He takes us through the streets of North Philly. We're walking into the Badlands where drug sales and drug use flourish. The DEA says this area supplies some of the heroin showing up on streets in the Pittsburgh region. We've seen people come from as far away as Michigan uh, drive into that area. We've seen people come from uh, the Pittsburgh area and other sections of western Pennsylvania. Hickman describes those drug traffickers as monsters with absolutely zero empathy for users. When I heard this particular wiretap where the drug dealers were actually mocking the addicts and talking about how they would do almost anything to get these opioids, is I had a stark insight into the cruelty of people who are willing to break the law, exploit sick people, for profit. And for every dealer put away, another is waiting to take his business. Unfortunately, there is an extremely, extremely uh, 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 vast customer network for this. So it would be naive of me to th say that we can arrest our way out of this. Um, we can't. That is why law enforcement agencies look to community outreach and government programs as powerful resources, focus on effective treatment and education for the user that will shut down demand. Because addicts are getting treatment and then they're not going for the illegal drugs. Addiction is, uh, uh, is a disease and I don't know that that's necessarily best addressed by the law enforcement or criminal justice system. So we really would like to see uh, uh, treatment resources uh, increase as well. Washington County saw more than 600 overdoses last year resulting in more than 100 deaths. While the district attorney hunts down drug organizations, he wants better treatment for users in jail after they're arrested. They're applying for a federal grant to make that happen. To treat people while they are in jail and then get them on a non-opiate blocker such as Vivitrol, they don't commit new crimes. And you also want to keep them alive. Treatment works. Just look at the life of Kendra Delasio, a former addict arrested six times before she became clean. Treatment went beyond detox. It educated her and taught her to love herself more than heroin. I think that was a huge, huge part for me to understand like what my body went through whenever I used and when I went through withdrawal. But then those social supports, making new friends, um, finding things to do that don't revolve around using drugs. She is now a certified recovery specialist for Southwestern Pennsylvania Human Services. Delasio was also studying for her master's degree in science and psychology with an emphasis in addiction. I feel like I'm getting there. I'm a lot further along with becoming a success story.